when I left school and university, my, my first serious job was in a very serious arts bureaucracy and I was doing that by day. In the evenings I was playing in a Buddy Holly and Chuck Berry cover band at Ruby Hill RSL. <laughs> I guess, um, but both were both were real and true, and uh, Buddy Holly had a profound effect on me. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be able to present a couple of songs to you in three-part harmony. Tom Bridges, Belinda Bennett. We're going to sing. Um, I guess it doesn't matter anymore, which I actually heard um, Don McLean sing first. I, I learned this from the singing of Don McLean and a couple of other people and then heard Buddy sing it. I should also say that in the 1980s you heard 50s pop music on the radio. You don't, I don't think you hear it anymore. Um, but in those days it was hits from the 80s, from the 70s, 60s and 50s. So you did get to hear Buddy Holly. It was very accessible. So here we go. Oh boy, how's it start? Oh my God! 